Hello everyone, my name is Chastity Barnes and today I'm going to be walking you through how to use Cancer Bio Portal. Um, I am currently an undergrad student at Washington Baptist University and I'm doing summer research with the University of Arkansas um, to look into the metastasis of breast cancer into the liver to look at the genes involved and see if there's a specific pathway that could eventually be targeted to reduce the metastasis of the breast cancer cells into the liver to help increase the chances of the survival rate. Um, and so for that, I have been using Cancer Bio Portal. And so this is just a quick introductory video into how you can use it and navigate through this site. So this screen that we're on is the Cancer Bio Portal home screen. And here you can see all the navigation tabs and get a overview of all the studies that are involved in the bio portal. Um, and so if you we scroll down, they have all the studies organized based on who conducted the, the study. So this is the pan cancer studies. We have pediatric cancer. Um, and then it gets down into cell lines and then the types of cancers. Um, and then over here on this side is just another breakdown of how many studies were conducted for each thing. Um, and then there are two pathways that you can use to, um, or as it is called, the cancer bio workflow. And so you have the option to either query by gene or explore the selected studies. Um, and so for the sake of this introductory video, we are going to use the explore selected studies just to show you what the results view page would look like um, because in future videos we're going to break down how to query and all of that so um since i am doing research on breast cancer i'm going to go ahead and click the breast cancer option and then here as you can see it just has all of the different breast cancer studies that they have conducted and then over here it shows me for each study how many samples are included and then here I can automatically click this little pie chart and it shows me the clinical and genomic data that are included in this study um, so I'm going to just click a random one here and click explore selected studies And so now on this screen, I have all of this different information, um, just a general summary and synopsis of all information that was collected in this study. So I have the cancer types that are detailed over here and the um, number of samples. And then we have the frequency in the percentage form right here. And then we have the number of samples per patient. Um, we get the disease-free survival rate, the overall survival rate. Um, down here, we get to look at the mutated genes um, while they're loading. And then we get to look at the genomic profile and look at just like the mutations, the different types of protein expression, methylation, all of that. Um, we scroll down and it just shows like the sample type, the um, sex, the genders. Um, we get the ethnicity category. We just get a whole lot of information just to basically summarize everything about this study in one screen. And then at the top here, it shows you how many patients and how many samples are included in this study. Um, and so if I wanted to customize my selection, I would use this drop down here. Um, if there was a chart that I wanted to look at that was not provided on the screen, I could go right here and it would allow me to do that. And then if I want to do a group comparison to compare two different groups um, of information, then I could go here. And then here you can see at the top of the screen, um, if I had genes that I wanted to query, I can enter them manually or I could go down to the mutated genes section right here and um, it would automatically enter that data for me. And so here, this page is just overall, just a summary page to give you information about this um, study that was conducted, just the whole summary of all the samples, all the patients. Um, so then if I click the clinical data tab, 
which is loading. This breaks down the clinical data and information about each patient that is included in this study. It'll give me information about their type of breast cancer, how many samples that they gave, their mutation counts, all that information. Um, and if I click the patient ID link, that will take me to a specific patient and I'll get information for just that one patient. Um, this right here is the heat map for the samples that were included. And so it just gives you that information. Um, and so the red sections are for amplification and upregulation, while the blue sections are for downregulation. Um, and so we'll get more into that in future videos, but this is just what that looks like. And then the copy number data um, is broken down on this section. And so I can click here to access that. And so I'm going to wait on that to load so you can just see what that looks like. So yes, here it just gives us the copy number information just broken down and segmented. Um, and you're able to zoom in to see the features. And then at the top, it has the course of the chromosome. Um, and so with this, you can just see the copy number data for the 818 samples that you have available. Um, and then at the top up here, you can click to go through and access these tabs. Um, so with the data sets tab, that just shows you more of the data sets here. I'll go ahead and click on it for you. So yes, it just shows you the data sets and all the studies that they have. And it gives you the um, all of the samples, the mutations, copy number, RNA-seq data. And then if there's data that I want to add, I can click this columns button. And I can add columns to it to get more data. Um, the web API and the r slash MATLAB are just links that get more into coding and enable you to get more information on the studies and get multiple studies. The tutorials and webinars um, tab is very useful. Um, it gives you videos on how to use you step by step tutorial slides on how to use the portal. Um, so those are good to go and watch if you ever are struggling or need help with something specifically on the portal. And then the visualize your data tab um, shows you just how you can visualize your data using the Onco printer and the mutation mapper. Um, and so, yeah, that is a general overview of how to use the portal. Um, I'll take you back to the home screen, but that was just a general overview of how to use the portal, how to navigate through all of it. Um, and of course, you're always able to download all your data, all your information, if you want to use it for future reference. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and like I said, in future videos, we're going to break down how to run a query, um, how to use the um, studies to do that, and go through all that information. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And like I said, my name is Chastity, and this was a tutorial on just the introduction on how to use Cancer Bio Portal. Bye, guys.